Now that the stairs are done and the basement is carpeted, we have a new problem. Being that we have a baby who's active and susceptible to climbing up and then falling down the stairs. So I'll build a gate just like the one I built upstairs when this little guy was a baby. The gate upstairs swings on half barrel hinges and this one will too, which makes it easy to remove when desired. The latch will be mounted to a metal post, which will be mounted to this piece of wood, which will slide inside this slot in the newel post. That way it also can be removed when not in use. Now that I have a post on each side, I can now measure to get my hard dimension between the posts, so I know exactly how wide to make the gate. These holes are for indexing the balusters. I'll open them all up to a half inch, which is the short dimension of the balusters, and then partially drill at three quarters, which is close to the diagonal dimension. That way they will self-center in the holes once it all gets put together. Painting down inside the holes is much easier now than having to mask and paint down there once the balusters are inside.
I'm knocking off the corners of the ends to help them get started in the holes. Also removing an inch or so of paint prevents it from smoking up the shop when I weld them to the frame. These pipe clamps come in real handy for pressing the balusters through the holes. Keeping it square is a real challenge. The balusters are now welded to the frame of the gate through these holes. I'm pretty much the last person you'd want doing body work on your car. I usually don't have much luck with body filler, but I'll need to figure it out for the next big project that's coming up. The painter stained this section of handrail when he did the stairs. Once I've removed a good section in the middle, it will slide down over the top of the gate. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.